She has 1% Dalmatian. Oh, stop it. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where we're finally going over the results of the DNA test of the puppies. Finally, they're here. You guys have been hounding me nonstop since the day I literally got them tested. You're like, did the results come in? Immediately like the day after I'm like, guys, it takes a few weeks, but we're here. Sadly, the puppies aren't here for them to know the results, but the owners of the puppies, well, most of them watch the vlog. So any of the puppies are watching, you're about to find out your results. I'm so excited. Now we only did four of the puppies because the tests are kind of expensive and I only had four, but maybe in the future I will do every puppy in the litter that I do. We'll see. But before we get into it, I do want to let you guys know that on my store, Crystal Wolf, I'm doing mystery boxes for Christmas. So it's a way of getting a bunch of merch for a very discounted price. You just get it as a mystery item. So we have a $25 box and an $80 box. Both will come with more value than the box is worth. You just don't know what you're gonna get. So if you want to check it out, I will leave a link down below and I also have new merch available that you can see as well. But let's hop in and find out these results, shall we? We shall. All right, I have the test right here. Let's see, who should we start with? I think we should start with December. Now, my thoughts were like Golden Retriever, Lab, or Great Pyrenees were kind of like my initial thoughts. And obviously a little bit of Husky, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, so herding. I don't know what that means. 17% Great Pyrenees, Australian Cattle Dog. I don't know what a Maramama Shep Dog is. German Shepherd, 21% Siberian Husky. So that's the majority of him is 21%. And then the second most is 17, which is the Great Pyrenees. What is a Chow Chow? Are those the big white dogs? And then Alaskan Malamute, okay. Those are big ones. Rottweiler, what? Okay, only 4% Rottweiler. 1% American Stafford Terrier. I don't know what that is. Okay, so he had 3% lab in him. There was absolutely no golden in him though. Wow. Okay, let's look for relatives. Still compiling for relatives. Okay, we already know that there's he has three other relatives on here, so get it together. We didn't detect any known genetic health predispositions in December's DNA. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's see his traits. Cream or red coat? Okay, well he got like the cream, like the white creamy look. Okay, up next, let's do October. This is the one I'm so excited about because October was such a unique looking dog. Like, I don't even know, but he has 17 breeds detected. So let's dive in. Very interesting. Okay, so he has more pit bull. Right off the bat, he has the same amount of Husky and same Great Pyrenees, which makes me feel like the father was probably a Great Pyrenees. At least one of them mixed in somewhere in there. The pit bull is definitely what I think is giving him that look. Now that I think of it, he does kind of have like a pit look to him. So it's like a pit bull, Great Pyrenees, Husky, and Pitbull are like the three main. Oh, wow, he has 8% Labrador. Wow, a quiche hound. What the heck is a quiche hound? That's only 1%. Oh, 2% Chihuahua, stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> now I wish I did November's DNA test because I feel like she would have had way more Chihuahua with that face. 2% Boxer, I do see the Boxer in him even though it's only 2%. Wow, okay, so it is, it's definitely different. Like there's the main same ones as December, but there's definitely different things in there that makes sense because they look very different. Okay, let's check on health. <gasps> Yay, he's clear. Let's look for traits, anything. Dominant is black, interesting. Oh, okay, I, I kind of see this in there a little bit. I mean, he was a little bit more spotty, but same colors. All right, let's move on to Karen Lynn Spears. Let's see, shall we? She's gotta be so much husky, right? The other two dogs have been 20%. 
but she is like full husky. Karen is, yes, she had way more husky. She had 35% husky. 35% husky, 11% chow chow, Maramama sheepdog, Australian cattle dog, and Great Pyrenees. Wow, less Great Pyrenees with her. Yeah, she's like way a ton Siberian husky. 35%, wow. <gasps> she has 1% Dalmatian. <gasps> Stop it. That's why she's so dramatic. She's 1% Dalmatian. She's like, yes, I am Dalmatian. You may have seen my work in 101 Dalmatians. Yes, that was my ancestors. I know. I'm pretty famous. Wow. 7% Pitbull. That's where she gets her, you know, angstiness from. Okay, let's check on her health. Yes, we love to see it. Zero at risk. Any traits? Tan points. Yes, she did have tan points. I mean, she wasn't black and tan. She was white and tan, but... <sighs> Genetically, it's unlikely that Karen is hairless. Yes, that's true. Oh, she's good. Oh, I didn't know you could check the weight. She's gonna be 40 to 70 pounds. She's gonna be a big girl. Hi, Mooney. Are you jealous? You wanna know your results too? Can you lay down? Okay, that leaves us down to March, who has 15 breeds detected. Let's look at these results. Oh, 22% Husky, 17, whoa, 17% Great Pyrenees, 14 Maramama Sheepdog. I think he has more Maramama Sheepdog. I need to look up Maramama Sheepdog, because that's interesting. Where'd the Dalmatian come with in Karen? Because he doesn't have any. Got a little bit of lab, Parker Spaniel, Rottweiler, American Chef Holder. Chow Chow. Okay, so it's mostly just Siberian Husky, Maramama Sheepdog, and Great Pyrenees. Let's check on her health. Miss May, there was no reason to get him out of the nest. He was perfectly fine. No health issues. Let's check on the traits. 10 points, dominant black. Oh, 61 to 91 pounds. Let's check the other dogs too. I'm curious about that. Let's see how big December's gonna be. Oh my God. Okay, first October. So far, the biggest is March with 91 pounds potentially. October was a big boy too. He's going to be 75. Weird. That's weird that March could be bigger than him. We'll know if this is accurate based off December's reading because December's gonna be a huge, what should say like 500 pounds. 52 to 87, that's crazy that March has the ability. Watch March end up being the biggest. He went from the runt to the biggest boy out of the group. Wait, I wanna see if Karen says that she would have blue eyes. Yeah, we found one special eye color gene in Karen's DNA, blue eyes. That's so crazy that it knows. Oh, her ears, she'll have floppy ears. Partially floppy ears are more likely, just like her mom. Oh, how sweet, Karen. Well, that is it for the DNA test result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just another reminder about the mystery boxes over on my website, Crystal Wolf. Link is down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and going through this journey with me. This concludes pretty much this chapter of this journey with May's puppies. So stay tuned for future puppy or cat or other animals that I will be fostering in the future. I am headed to England for a little bit. So when I'm back early next year, I'll be looking to foster another pregnant animal and document that experience. So subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn, bye.